private or artists to come to the stage and use seven minutes to say whatever they want to you. So the first one that we have, we are inviting up to the stage today is Natsia Said. She's a journalist from Bahrain, currently an icon guest in Paris. Please, Natsia. Dear distinguished guests, Mrs. Frida Trollmer, Malmo Deputy Mayor of Culture, Leisure and Public Health, Mr. Chris Greppel, Chair of Iron I Icorn Board, Ms. Bridget Van Hot, Regional Representative for Europe, the United Nations High Commission for Human Rights. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, Icorn, for this opportunity. I'm glad to be here, safe but not silent. I have a roof to sleep under, I have a voice, and I continue what I used to do in my country, but I can't do there anymore. I would like to express my sadness, frustration, and deepest condolence for the nine journalists who were killed in Kabul, Afghanistan, and back-to-back -back suicide attack two days ago. This is one example of what journalists face while they are, while they are doing their jobs. Safe, not silent. That's the main reason why most of journalists, writers, and artists here left their countries for. We seek a safe place to host us and give us a refuge where we can continue our work and our voices, pens, and brushes will continue to be effective. Tomorrow, the 3rd of May, is the World Press Freedom Day, and we are celebrating it while the media and the world is suffering from lower freedoms every year and the rule of journalists to reveal corruption, violations, and repression are threatened and repressed. Authorities means to imprison, torture, and kill journalists sometimes in order to silence them. Press plays permanent role in the political process. The independence of the media is the engine of the public opinion for a more democratic and transparent society. The fight against administrative and financial corruption is a principle. The press contribute to build societies when it's independent, and it will be a demolition mechanism when it belongs to a particular authority. Without an independent media, political, religi political religious, and economical authorities will take advantage to spread their power mislead public opinion, and broadcast hate speech, and more. Basically, we will have a dictatorship led by a single group, single power, and a single opinion. Save not silent. We leave because we are not safe, but we don't remain silent. We continue to be the voice and the, re and the image of what it's supposed to be forgotten people and events. In 2011, a police officer accused me of distraught the image of the country for reporting that a policeman killed a protester in front of me. I said I was doing my job. He said, your job is to maintain the image of the country. I was shocked, but I kept silent as I was blindfolded and under torture for the last seven hours. A shoe was shoved into my mouth. The policewoman said, this shoe is cleaner than my talk. While we are here in this room, we have colleagues behind bars, others who are banned from travel or banned from doing their jobs, and trials, scared and threatened. 
Being a journalist can be really risky and source of fear, not only for you, but to your family and your surrounding neighborhood and colleagues. Being a journalist is one of the most challenging jobs as you are not supposed to be an ally of anyone, but the principles of human rights. Being a journalist is not a crime. I'm here today, I have a voice, and I'm not silenced, thanks to ICON, the network that provides us an opportunity to live and work away from fear, threats, and risks. Thanks to Paris City, my beautiful new home, for choosing me to be their guest and support me in every way to continue doing my job, my passion, and my life. Thanks for listening to me today, and I wish you all a very successful General Assembly. Salam.